Okay, so now we're going to go to the uh, Mauser Type A, and we're going to check the three different uh, coarseness, fineness, you know, on, on the uh, grind of the coffee, see mm -hmm. how it goes. But we're going to take it to the finest first. And just a caution that if you take it too fine, you can actually have the burrs touching each other. You won't get anything out of it. It'll clog the machine. So make sure that when you're taking it down, first that it's running. And then number two, don't go too far. Exactly. You'll yeah, hear yeah. the you'll hear the burrs start to make an unusual whirling noise, you know, kind of a high pitched noise. You yeah. know they're getting close and they're touching each other. So let's let's show the folks how we do yeah. it. Yeah, it's best for the let's burrs to on. get closer to each other while it's grinding. Oh, it's yeah. Exactly. You got, if you're going finer, you have to have it running. Yep. Exactly. Okay. okay. So. so I'm going to attempt to get it as fine as I can here. Yep. And I bet you that's probably right there. It's probably as fine as we want to go, I'm guessing. How I'm fine gonna, is that? Well, let me dump that out. Let's, okay, yeah. Let's uh, put some on the plate here. and. Perfect. We can go a little finer than that. Don't okay. take it down a little finer. Okay. Yeah. So that's I don't know if you noticed, but the, the noise on the burrs changed ever so slightly exactly. when you took it's it down. Exactly. It's kind of a pitch change. Oh, that's really fine. That's very consistent, too. Now, do you think that's finer than, than this? The, the finest of the Forte? Hmm. It's, it looks pretty... Boy, it's very comparable, I would say. Mm -hmm. It's like kids playing in the sand at the beach. Mm -hmm. This feels more consistent for, for some reason yeah. for me. And I, I would expect it would be, actually. Exactly. Okay, so now let's take it to a more mid-range, and we'll grind out some. Perfect. So, while it's running, uh, you know... Let's do it this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I see okay. what you're saying. I'll probably come... Come over in here somewhere. Okay, perfect. Oop. There we go. There you go. Good. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there. And what you can do is, this is getting close to this, which we are going to do. Oh, yeah, look at that. You take this out, yep. and you put it back there, which I can't oh, see. Oh, there you go. Take it to the next setting wow. back over there. Thank you, Gail. Oh, hey. The gray hair comes with uh, <laughs> wisdom. Okay, we like to call it wisdom, right? <laughs> okay. That, I would say, I, uh, the same as the Forte would be suitable for a mm -hmm. pressurized portafilter. Yeah. It's got a little coarseness to it. And you, once again, that might be a little more consistent, too. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it should be. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. It is just a tad more consistent. And that's probably the result of less of a range with this machine, don't you think? Yep. Yeah. Let's take it down to the coarsest setting there. Perfect. And then so. this one, I can kind of just let the brake do the work, right? If we're going to the courses. Yep. So here, why don't you go, and then I'll start. There we go. So that's as coarse as it will go. We got a pile going on back here. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. What do you see there, Brendan? Well, I it, it again, it looks more consistent with the Forte, yes. but it does not look nearly um, as coarse. Not as coarse, I would agree. Uh, this would make a, I would say this would be a drip. Mm-hmm, totally. Yeah. Yeah. But I, you definitely are not gonna go to French press on this. No, mm -mm. I don't think so. No, and this is on the edge of French press. This is, this is more consistent, but it's a little finer. Yeah. <laughs> No. What are you going to brew with that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we didn't talk about the programming on this. So what you do to program this is you hold this down. You'll see lines come up. There we go. Now you pick the one you want to program. So that's at 6.5 right now. I can take it I can take it up to 6.6, 7.5, whatever I want. And yeah. then it's just uh, hold this again. Or you can just... And then it's set. Now it's set. Now... It'll grind for exactly that amount of time. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Look at that. Got a lot of so that's how you set that, and you can and you can do whichever one you want, or you can use the manual setting, mm -hmm. which you just hold it on yeah. when you get what you want. You know, take it off. Yeah. So that's uh, pretty much those two machines. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, you know, this is ideal for probably a commercial environment dealing with mostly espresso. Or high-end home. High-end home, exactly. Yep. We have um, a lot of people that buy these for home. Yeah. 
and this is maybe a little less, a lot less commercial and more for someone at home that's kind of looking at brewing any type of coffee, whether it be espresso or drip at any given time. I would say if you have a pour over bar, this is perfect for a pour over yep. bar because you have the weighing option. And that's, mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons they made this. They actually do use these in bars and such yeah. for pour over. So pros and cons? It's kind of hard to say pros and cons for me just because like I said, they're for two completely different yeah, I think environments. They, I think they both have uh, mostly pros. I mean, I can't think of any exactly. cons, really. They're both are very good machines, well-built. Mm -hmm. um, I can't think of any. Hmm. I think a lot of people look at this and just assume it's a no-doser, which it technically is, but you're really controlling the dose with your programmability up top here. Right. Um, this doesn't have the lever on the side. This is just a chute. The mm -hmm. coffee comes out of the chute of the and just go straight down. Exactly. There's your finger guard so you can't grind up your fingers or <laughs> chew off your fingernails or whatever. There are different bean hopper sizes for both of these machines yep. as well. I, you can get a bean hopper extender for the brats, yep. I believe. It sits on top of it. Yeah, and then and then this is just, uh, you know, you have three different sizes for this, the short, medium, and tall, that huge one. Oh, you mean the... Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, so, I mean, depending on your scenario, what you're wanting from your grinder will determine which one of these you want. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Well, thanks a lot for joining me today, Brenda. Of course, I'm happy Always to. Always good to see you. You too. Take care. Thanks, Gail.